Resident Evil 4 boasts a wide variety of weapons and today we're going to be going over the rifles to see exactly which one's going to fit you best. Starting off the list here, we're going to take a look at the SRM1903 rifle. This thing is the strongest rifle in the entire game. For the simple fact that its exclusive upgrade over here gives it two times the power when it's fully maxed out. Basically making this thing have 10.6 flat damage and because it is a rifle where all the rifles get the three times power against weak points, immediately turns to 31.8 damage when hitting it in the weak spot that's basically on par with some magnums in the game i believe the killer seven specifically just in terms of flat damage this thing is ridiculous to where if you have this at least it's power maxed out maybe not so much the exclusive upgrade by the time you fight the bella sisters in the story which is just before mendez on professional you can easily or tap them in the head with all that power there are some downsides one for the simple fact that it has the lowest ammo capacity out of all the rifles it reloads like five at a time with the reload speed being at 0.61 and as well as the fire rate this thing is just meant to pour out as much damage as possible while also being fairly accurate i would say the most accurate gun in the entire game obviously because of it's bolt action pretty much every single shot is going to be on the mark and notice if we go fully zoomed in there's almost no very little sway to this gun like some other guns are going to be doing this like i don't know doing all this crazy nonsense no not with this one every shot is basically going to be on the money quick scope to your heart's content and see, there you go. Go straight back to shooting. So, with this bad boy, you really can't go wrong. You'll see a lot of this in a lot of speed running. Uh, speed runs, funny enough. This thing is disgusting. It is way too good. You get it extremely early on. I believe at the very beginning, early portion of chapter two, where you get the little bird emblem before that little small village section. That's basically GG's at that point. You're just ripping and tearing everyone. If you're looking for that high damage, high accuracy, it gets absolutely no better than this. Up next, we got the Stingray over here, which I would say is the weakest rifle out of all of them. It does boast some decent amount of damage i guess versus just other guns in the game but in its own category with the rifles it is by far the weakest with only 4.9 flat damage and doing about 14.7 weak spot damage uh, an exclusive upgrade also giving it the two times rate of fire funny enough even with that exclusive upgrade it is second in fire rate i'm just like th this thing is just not as good as i originally thought where this thing was godlike in the original game other than that it's definitely significantly nerfed compared to its original counterpart with this it's by far the weakest second in terms of fire rate has decent ammo capacity reload speed is also okay uh rate of fire 1.84 and then precision is i believe the best stat wise uh, i don't know how true that is when actually using it because i i tend to find this has a little bit more sway compared to the uh the beginning rifle like look at this this is a two time zoom it's already doing like some weird sway action here i don't like that but still fairly accurate. Got very low recoil. Very controllable. Let's take a look at that reload. And we're good. All in all, not that bad. But still nowhere near the best rifle in the game. It's actually the, the very bottom. How I missed the old semi-auto sniper back in the original game. And on the last one of our list, my personal favorite, which is the CQBR Assault Rifle. This thing is actually second in damage, boasting a 5.1 flat damage and 15.3 weak spot damage. It has the highest ammo capacity and its exclusive upgrade is what's giving it the times uh, 1.5 allowing to give it that 5.1 flat damage so it's just above the stingray ammo capacity is almost twice the amount of the stingray reload speed i believe it's a little bit faster slightly faster than the stingray has more rate of fire than the stingray does however it has the worst precision out of all the rifles you can easily delete bosses with this thing the biggest downside is literally controlling the recoil that is it if you're going to be going full auto which honestly not many bosses will really take that much ammo to begin with there's no way you're going to go through 32 rifle ammo yes it takes sniper ammo 
not SMG, because I know some people might believe like, well, why didn't you include this on your submachine gun video? It's technically a sniper. If you're, if you don't have unlimited ammo, you don't have the cat ears, you gotta be careful with this gun. Otherwise you better be fully loaded on sniper ammo or just try to control your shots as best as your ability. But other than that, this thing will rip bosses in the matter of seconds. The first El Gigante you fight where the dog comes in and everything else, I put maybe, I think five to seven rounds on professional. That was the fight, it was over. So uh, just kind of showcase this bad boy. I'm gonna show you exactly the spray pattern as to how it works without me trying to control it at all, just so you can get an idea of how you should be controlling it. So this is me just not doing anything besides pointing and clicking. So as you can see from the spray pattern, we're going up to the left. So realistically, the best way to control this is that you're gonna pull down and very slightly to the right. And even then it's still kind of all over the place, so. That's the only downside of this thing. However, not many enemies are gonna be able to take that much ammo or that much damage for as a matter of fact. Cause again, uh, that weak spot damage adds up very quickly. And if you're doing... Something like that, that's GG's. Bosses, elite mobs, common enemies, doesn't matter. If you got the sniper ammo to deal with this bad boy, it's gonna be cleaning house. I figure I'd show that off, a, a little something to think about. You guys let me know in the comments as to which one is your favorite rifle in the game. Hopefully we catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.